welcome to another edition of Fort Fuel News. My name is Vanessa Van Gelder, and on the program today, we have the coordinator of the Environmental Center, Rachel Landis, here to talk to us about the Real Food Challenge campaign. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, what is the Real Food campaign? So the Real Food Challenge campaign is taking place at a national level, and it's a campaign geared at shifting $1 million of food spent within university food systems to away from foods that kind of support unjust labor practices or environmentally unsound production techniques towards foods that are fair, local, humane, or ecologically sound. How does this directly affect Fort Lewis College? So as mentioned, this is a big national campaign. And the way that Real Food Challenge National works is they encourage individual campuses to take up um, their own kind of individual campaigns to shift 20% of our food purchasing dollars towards foods that again meet those real criteria, fair, humane, ecologically sound, or local. And so here at Fort Lewis we have an annual purchasing budget of $1.6 million that's spent on food and we've been working in partnership by we, I mean the Environmental Center, has been working in partnership with Sodexo and some local growers and also Fort Lewis College administration to shift 20% of that overall purchasing budget to foods in those criteria. Okay. What is being done for the campaign and how can students help? There's a lot that's been done for this campaign. Um, I think one of our so a few things. We work in three different areas at the Environmental Center when we approach this campaign. So first and foremost, we've assessed our entire food system, which literally means we have students down in Sodexo's offices taking a look at paper invoices that are coming in and line item by line item researching each of those um, invoices to figure out if that particular food qualifies as fair, humane, ecologically sound, or local. So in assessment, what we've done is we've found that four point 36% of our current purchasing dollars do go towards real foods. Um, in addition, we do a lot of work on the education outreach front, and so you've probably seen us, but we're out there, we've got tables, we've got signs, we do trainings with Sodexo staff to help them understand kind of what these shifts are. Uh, we've been having interviews like this, we've been giving presentations across the region, things of that sort. Uh, and then we also have a huge part where we've been working on implementation, and so it's literally had students um, in the back room with the chef going through and generating menus and helping to coach him as he's looking at what ingredients to pull from his ordering system. Say, oh, no, 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 instead of that rice, let's take a look at the organic rice and see if that price point matches and if we can maybe bring that in. Um, all the way through doing things like our Real Food Challenge chow downs, which are monthly meals that showcase foods. So basically you walk in the dining hall and this is what it will be like once we hit our 20% target. Everything on the line is fair, humane, ecologically sound, or local. That's really great. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the positive implications that this campaign is working towards? So one of the coolest things about this campaign is that it doesn't just work at a local level, but everything we're doing here at Fort Lewis also has um, kind of ripples out and affects the national kind of food service industry as well. So locally, what you as a student might be able to see is, wow, there are foods that no longer have hydrogenated corn syrup, and so it's way better for your health. Um, so I think there's a student health piece. There's also student satisfaction. When we did a poll of students two years ago, 76% of students said this was the top environmental priority they had. So kind of meeting the needs and the demands of students. There's also very much the local benefit of opening up a huge market for our local agricultural sector. 20% of $1.6 million is a lot. Um, and then, I think, again, take what we're doing locally and amplify it on the national stage. And when you have $1 billion of aggregate purchasing power, you can approach Tyson Chicken and say, hey, we're going to pull your accounts unless you say we'll grow chickens in non-confined areas that can roam free and be happy. Um, or, hey, we're going to pull your accounts unless you pay your laborers a fair wage. So it's a great way to kind of revolutionize a pretty huge system. Um, is there any negative drawbacks to the campaign, or is everybody else slowly coming along? And where do you see this program in the coming years? Yeah, I think one of the perceived challenges, and it's been great, students come up and, and talk to the Environmental Center staff or Sodexo staff a lot about this, is it costs more. The perception is that real food costs more. And that 
is in some ways a reality because um, the upfront costs might look a little more expensive initially. But again, this is, these are the growing pains to shift a whole system so that we can get equitable cost. I think another way to look at that cost factor is that, so it may cost more now, but you're less likely to get diabetes in the future. So where's the real cost? Um, I think otherwise, you know, a question was posed recently, you know, we're the first in the Southwest to sign on and bring this campaign in. Does that mean it's kind of untouchable and no one else wants it? And I think the opposite is the case. This is something that schools across the nation are clamoring, students, I should say, across the nation are clamoring to get involved with because they recognize, you all recognize the value of real food. Fort Lewis just happens to be a pioneer. So um, I think that's a real benefit. Yeah. And you asked where we're headed in the future. And so I think the vision that's out there is in the future, you should be able to walk into San Juan Dining or go to Animus Perks and you should be able to see signs that say, okay, these are the real foods that you have the option to choose from and vote with your dollars. Um, and hopefully those options will start to be on par with the number of food choices you have that aren't real. That's awesome. That wraps up another edition of Fort Fuel News. Be sure to go online, all your campus, be sure to go online for all your campus news and check the big yellow boxes for the new print issues. Go Skyhawks!